All right, my preschool friends, we are going to do some math. I can solve word problems to add. Will you say that with me? I can solve word problems to add. Our little paintbrush friend says, I draw pictures to illustrate the story and write an equation. So right here, they have two octopuses and one fish is equal to three. Is it octopi? <laughs> two plus one is three. And they wrote it down too. Two plus one is three. I have over here a 10 frame. We're just going to use five today. Boop, boop, boop. And on here I have counters that have a red side and a yellow side. So right now, I have five red plus zero yellow is how many? Five! You got it! One yellow plus four red is five! Two yellow plus three red is five! Three plus two is equal to... Five and four plus one is equal to five. You got it. What happens if I flip this? And now I have five yellow and zero red. Now how many do I have? I still have five counters. You got it. All right, let's do... A little mental math. I'm going to show you some cards here. And these are kind of sticks that I colored in. If we have two plus nothing, how many sticks do we have? Two. Nothing plus two is two. What is one, two, three, four? Four plus zero. Four. Oop, <laughs> zero plus four, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five plus zero, five. Zero plus five, five. What's four plus one? One, two, three, four, five, five. What's one plus four? Five, you're right, still five. Okay, how about one, two, plus one, two, three? Do you know what that is? Did you say five? One, two, three, four, five. What is one plus one, two, three? One plus three is four. One, two, three, four. Did you get it right? If not, that's okay. It's Always good to estimate and try, huh? One plus two is one, two, three. Ding! And we could keep going. It's so good to add things to try to practice your math skills. You can keep practicing with this. You can also try and count things at your house and in your world. You can count toys. You can count silverware. You can count pencils that you have in your drawer. You could count the animals you know or count dots you make on a picture. Counting is great practice. Thank you for doing that with me. We are going to tell a little story now. Kate wants two chocolate scoops and two strawberry scoops of ice cream. How many scoops does Kate want? Hmm. If you're not sure how to do this, one thing that I like to do is try to draw a picture. Ooh, part of my thumb while I get this off. Okay, so Kate wants two chocolate scoops and two 
strawberry scoops. So I'm going to draw one, two scoops of chocolate. And then we needed one, two scoops of strawberry. I'm going to write the number down here. Two scoops of chocolate plus two scoops of strawberry. How many scoops is that all together? Let's see. One, two, three, four. <gasps> she wants four scoops of ice cream. Wow, that's a lot of ice cream. I don't think I'd let my daughter have that much. Would your mom let you have four scoops of ice cream? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Okay, thank you for helping that. Let's see, can we think of any other ways to help us practice word problems? That's when somebody tells it to you and they don't necessarily write down the numbers for you. So let's try one more. Okay, I love red. I have one red circle, but I want two more red circles. How many would I have then? So I'd have one red circle plus two red circles. How many now? One, two, three. Oh, now we have three. Excellent. Can you practice them? Think of some stories, some number stories. Think of... Ooh, maybe ice cream, or you could think of toys that you want. Or you can ask your brother or sister or mom and dad to help you make up some number stories like we just did. Thank you so much. Let's see if you can write any of the number stories that you make up in the comments below. Thank you. See you soon.